think my conscience is way too overactive. I ain't doing no crimes or illegal activities or nothing like that. It's just that sometimes I feel an overwhelming sense of guilt for doing even the slightest bad deed. And what's sad is that what's sad is that I see people all the time. People all the time on the roads, the highways, tossing them cigarette butts outside their cars. Like, how do you do that? How do you do that? I, I get sympathy guilt. I get guilty just from seeing someone accidentally drop the paper from the plastic straw on the restaurant floor. How do you sleep at night? Well, actually, actually, then again, you smoke cigs, right? <laughs> you smoke cigs, so I doubt you're very bright. Like, why am I even asking you this question, huh? You fucking moron. It's so bad, like. I can't even lie to save my life. I couldn't even lie to save other people's lives. Like, if some dude came into a store, violently massacred innocent civilians, he comes to me. He comes to me, right? Now tell me, you the last one here? I gotta make sure there are no survivors. Last one in the store? Oh, no, sir, no, sir. There are actually three more people hiding in the men's bathroom. You better hurry up. You better hurry up. I, I think like two of them had iPhones on them. <laughs> I remember back during the pandemic, you know, back when everyone was isolated and bugging the fuck out. Twitter niggas were on their bullshit, you know, their 10th their witch hunt of the day, 10th witch hunt of the fucking hour. Like, don't y'all niggas have jobs? Don't you have, oh wait, oh wait, I'm, I'm talking about Twitter, <laughs> plus it's during the pandemic, so that's not just unemployment, that's like, that's like unemployment to the 10th power. Now granted, during that time, even I was going insane myself, over-reflecting on even the smallest bad things I've ever done in my life, bringing me to the most illogical of conclusions. Oh no, my friends are gonna find out how cringe I used to be. They won't ever want to associate themselves with me anymore. I'm such a terrible person. Oh, oh. It takes time, you know? It does. I'll say that. It takes time for you to stop being so hard on yourself, holding yourself to a higher standard than others, scrutinizing the smallest faults you've ever made. Very respectable, but I've come to realize that that shit only breeds self-destruction. It only breeds self-defeatism. At times, it can even make you stagnant. Am I doing the right thing? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Jump, nigga, jump. <laughs> Nigga bitchin' bro, like, people, pe people are gonna find out I'm a bad person, though. The worst thing you've done, countless others have done to a higher degree. Stolen something, broken somebody's nose, committed arson to a family of four at 3.43 a.m. February the 17th, 2014, because we've all done that, okay? So just relax, bro. Ain't nobody keeping count. Come watch me stream. Self control on my own and lonely niggas to load when the money go missing. Yeah. And my wallet and my ribcage, I love love enough for comfort knowing money go with it.